plenty to smile about. The Queen beams as she arrives at the Royal Air Force Club in London for her first engagement since grandson Prince Harry's baby news. The Queen looked in excellent spirits as she stepped out on Wednesday, beaming as she arrived at the Royal Air Force Club in London. Despite the dreary weather and lack of umbrella, the monarch, 92, beamed as she made her way inside for the RAF centenary event. Her Majesty certainly has plenty to smile about. Last Friday she watched granddaughter Princess Eugenie marry Jack Brooks Spank at Windsor Castle and this week her grandson Prince Harry, 34, announced he is expecting his first child with the Duchess of Sussex in the spring of 2019. The arrival of Harry and Meghan's baby will make the Queen a great-grandmother for the eighth time. The Queen is already great-grandmother to Peter Philip's daughters, Savannah, 7, and Isla, 6, Zara Tindall's daughters, Mia, 4, and 3-month-old Lena, and Prince William's three children, Prince George, 5, Princess Charlotte, 3, and 5-month-old Prince Louis. The Queen, a proud supporter of the military forces, was invited to the Royal Air Force Club for an event marking its 100th anniversary. It is the latest in a string of celebrations that are being held throughout the year to mark the milestone. It was drizzling as the Queen pulled up at the Piccadilly Members Club, but she happily strode up the steps and inside without the need of an umbrella. The Queen appeared in excellent spirits as she arrived in her chauffeur-driven car, beaming at the uniformed officer who greeted her. In a typically bright display, the Queen wore a blue coat over an elegant blue and green floral dress. The colors were complemented by her hat, which featured yellow and green applique around the rim. The Queen finished her look with a pearl necklace and earring set, a silver brooch, black gloves, a black leather handbag and black leather shoes. The monarch was last seen at the wedding of Princess Eugenie and Jack Brooks Bank at Windsor Castle on Saturday where she is believed to be among the members of the royal family who were informed of Harry and Meghan's baby news. The couple, who are currently on a 16-day royal tour of Australia, New Zealand, Tonga, and Fiji, announced the news after arriving in Sydney on Monday.